In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating custom text animation. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Films. So today we got an interesting tutorial because it's either going to be basic or it's going to be completely different for uh, people who may have been using After Effects for some time because if, if you want to animate text, typically you might come here, hit P on your keyboard, bring up position, and move the text around. So the goal of this tutorial is to show you the endless possibilities of creating text animations. So let's start with the word opacity. I want to fade up each letter individually. And what we need to do is open up this tab, and if we see we have some properties in here, like the text property, and we click on the animate tab here, we have all these properties in here, and unfortunately we're not going to get to all these in this tutorial, we'll only get, go to a few, but this is just to show you all the possibilities for animation. But when I uh, click on the word opacity, and we have a new animator in here, and what we want to do is we want to go to the range selector, and we want to animate to start. So let's add a keyframe for start, and let's go to the end of our animation, which will be like two seconds. Set it, set it to 100%, and the only thing we have to do now is set the opacity to 0%. So now if we scrub through here, each of these letters will fade up individually, and you kind of get the idea of maybe how this is going to work. So let's go ahead and jump onto another example, and that was quite simple. But let's go to uh, let's do one where each word uh, blurs in individually. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to open up the tab, go into the text, and this time we're going to add the uh, animate and add the blur property. So maybe what we can do is increase the blur. And you see the words will kind of blur out here. If we break the link, we of course got the Y and X uh, properties isolated. And the words are blurred out right now. So let's go right into the range selector. And if we mess with the start percentage, as you can see, it'll do each letter. And it does look pretty cool, but we want to do each word. So we're going to go into the advanced tab and we're going to set the based on to words. And if we mess with the start, it'll kind of do each word. And that's just fine. And let's go ahead and set the shape to ramp up. And it's just going to make it a little bit cooler. But of course, we can take this a little bit further. And let's go to the offset here. And let's set this to like negative 50-ish. And add a keyframe for that at the beginning. And then let's go to like two seconds here. And let's set this to 100%. So we scrub through here. So we kind of have a blur for each word here. And let's go back to animate. And let's add the opacity property. And let's set this obviously to 0%. So then if we scrub through here. It'll come on just word for word like that. And it looks pretty cool. So that's how we can do uh, blur per word. And then let's go into one more little advanced property. And of course, there's a ton of things you guys can do, but this is just a short tutorial to show you guys all the possibilities. Let's do something uh, a little bit different. Let's not animate anything in or out, but just add overall animation uh, to each of these letters here. So, so let's go to the animate tab and add the property skew. And then let's go to add and let's go to selector and let's add the uh, wiggly. <laughs> it's funny to say wiggly. And let's open this up. And if we scrub through here, we have really nothing going on. So let's go to the skew down here and let's set this to 40. And now we'll kind of get some, uh, you know, actual expression in there. And of course, you can adjust the skew, uh, skew axis just by a little bit, which is going to have a nice little offset for each of these characters. So I just put, brought that down just by a touch. And then let's go, you know, into the actual wiggly selector and let's set the wiggles per second to 0.5. And that will kind of slow things down for us. And let's set the coloration to maybe like up, increase that by a little bit. So we set it to 100%, you know, kind of go, you know, as a group. If we set it maybe down to 90%, and it'll kind of, you know, break up an individual, uh, you know, character uh, animation there. And that looks pretty good. And of course, we can maybe mess with the spatial phase. Maybe we can add a keyframe for that and go to the end of our animation and maybe set this to like maybe 2x. And that might be a little too fast, but it'll you know, just continue to, uh, you know, offset some of this animation a little bit. And it's just kind of cool that we have this, like this little windy animation in here. It doesn't take a lot of time to do that, but there's so many things you can do with these text presets. And this was kind of just an intro basic tutorial on how to use this stuff. But there's so many possibilities with this. And I uh, encourage you guys to experiment with all the different properties that we have in here. And of course, we also have some nice little wiggle expressions. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day.